Hello once again and welcome to another tutorial about kit making from fmslovakia.com. My name is Patrick, also known as Patres10, and I will show you how to do geometric patterns. For this lesson I choose a really maybe hard looking kit for, from Holstein Kiel. Uh, for the upcoming season I have to do and uh, we will show us how to do uh, patterns uh, where geometrics um, lines or shapes are used and how you can reproduce them. So let's go straight into it and I will show you how to do it. Holstein Kiel Away Kit is uh, this one the white one and we will try to reproduce the pattern on it. The pattern itself is only a gradient, gradient effect of lines that goes from the center to each edge. We only need the one side of it that means the gradient from the center to each edge and we will duplicate it and flip it uh, maybe horizontally that we have the same effect as we see here. How we do it? Just go to Google, search, search for a gradient lines or gradient lines, lines patterns and choose any you like or you think should be best. I already have here one selected. Uh, it's uh, from Shutterstock, Sh Shutterstock. Uh, I don't need to buy it, I will use only this preview image. So I go to, uh, or I right click on the preview image and uh, go to uh, a title saying uh, open the image in new tab. I will now drag and drop this to my Photoshop and uh, I will make a selection in it. That means mm, pick the rectangular Magi tool and make a selection. Now with right click I go to layer wire copy, uh, hide the background, zoom it a bit and go to select color range and pick the white part of it. The fuzziness for the selection should be around 130 to 150 and then I hit OK. A selection will appear and now you have to hit the delete button a few times, maybe three or four times, maybe more times, but I will try three or four times, four times. Okay, now I deselect it and I now have a gradient here already. If I look closer on the Holstein Kiel kit, there's a gradient maybe from, from, I don't know, 15 or 20 lines. So I will make a selection from about here or not. I will use, I will delete this area and use only this part of it. Now I deselect it and move it a bit here. Okay, now I go to edit, transform, rotate it clockwise, control T, untick the aspect ratio and make it 60 pixels high. Then I will go to Ctrl T again and make it 120 pixels wide. Now I duplicate it, go to M image, transform Flip it horizontally, uh, vertically, sorry. 
stick it to the edge and then move it to the center of the above. That means 60 pixels to the right side. Now I have these two made. Now I select both, hit Ctrl T and rotate it minus 45 pixels. Move it a bit to the center and hit OK. I will unzoom it a bit. Now I know that I have a uh, or I, I scale them down again to 60 pixels. So uh, I now have a gradient effect on both sides for this, for example. It's really a bit blurry, but if you zoom out, it look like or it looks similar. We work with uh, really small patterns, so uh, the fuzziness will be there still. Okay, now I make a guideline. This is 92, I now need plus 60, that means 152 should be my next guideline. And Uh, now I need to merge these two layers and as I know I have to make it 120 pixels sorry I have to untick the aspect ratio 120 to 60 or even 140 this one would be good 140 pixels wide and 60 pixels high. Okay. Now I need to go to or, or make a guideline again from for each side. Make a selection and again make a guideline in the center. Okay, deselect. Now go with the cross to the center, hold Alt and make a square of 60 to 60 pixels. Now I duplicate or make a layer by a copy from it. Uh, hide the previous one and I already have this shape made which I need for the pattern itself. I move it to my base as the center one is from left to right. I have to transform it and flip it uh, horizontally. As you can see now it's from left to right. I center it in Control A uh, to make a selection of the layer or, or of the base and center it. Then uh, just duplicate it, move it to the edge. It's four times up, so one, two, three, four. Now we have the negative gap between it and we will repeat this a few times on both sides We need really a pattern that goes over the top. 
Now we duplicate it, edit, transform, flip horizontally, move it to the edge and move it four pixels up. Now duplicate or select bolt and again duplicate bolt and move it to the edge. Again duplicate bolt and move it to the edge. When you don't see it, just select all, move it again, and you can merge it also, and again duplicate it, and merge it. Now you have a pattern made which looks similar to the one of Holstein Kiel. You can play with the white a bit. I would say this one is fine. And I will move it down and set the opacity to maybe 20. And I would say we have done it. If I want, or if you want to squeeze it, that it has this 3D effect, you need to make a selection again from it and I do it also so that I go from the center hold alt go to the edge from the top and uh, on on the top and on the bottom and the white should be around 140 pixels when I have this square I release it and make a, with a right click a copy of it. Now I hide the bottom part and transform only this selection or this copy I made. Hit Ctrl T, go to this one and warp it a bit. That means squeeze or I from the verb menu I choose squeeze tool. The band shouldn't be on 20 and hit OK. Now I go again to Ctrl T to transform. Sorry. Ctrl T transform. Untick this aspect ratio and move it again to the edge of the background and now I have also this bend or the squeeze of the lines that it's almost as the edges of the t-shirt or as from the jersey and have a nice looking pattern made that is similar to that one that Holstein Kiel will use the next season. Okay, that was it. If you like this video, uh, give it a like, subscribe to the channel that you see any new tutorials I made for kit making. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I will try to answer it. I say goodbye and we will see us in another tutorial about kit making. Bye!